This video and hundreds more like it available on free Photoshop video tutorials.com. For the last of our series in Artistic Photo Edges, we're going to show you how to make a template for an effect that I call the photo painted on canvas. So what we're going to do here with this photo is uh, make it seem like it's, uh, it's painted on a canvas so that uh, whenever the brush is laid down, it's actually painting the photo itself and that it is on the canvas. So we're going to add a little effect to make it seem like it uh, has a little bit of a texture of a canvas. So the first thing that we need to do here is uh, create a new layer here and fill it in with white. White is my background color, so I'll just do a control and backspace to fill that in with white. And I'm going to add uh, a layer mask. And uh, now with this layer mask, what I can do is uh, delete some parts of the, uh, of the white to let the photo show through. So essentially what we're going to be doing is painting. Let me just show you how that works. If we paint in with black, we're going to be rediscovering the photo like so, like that, right? But this doesn't, you, you kind of get the idea here, we're painting with, you know, painting the photo on, but um, th this isn't the right brush here. What we need to do actually is load an appropriate brush that seems artistic enough so that it seems like it's actually very nice flowing brush strokes. And right now, the basic brushes that you get are not really enough. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to undo, and I'm going to load up my brushes here. If you don't have it open, go to Window and Brushes to bring that open. And now I'm going to click here on the little arrow on the three lines here. And I'm going to go in here and load up different presets for brushes here. There, there are a number of brushes that come preset with Photoshop. Uh, the default one is what's called the basic brushes. It's probably this one here that you're seeing right now. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to load up another set of brushes, which is called the thick heavy brushes. You have the option to uh, either append this so that you're going to get the sets that you have here plus the new ones, or you can click OK to just substitute all of these for the new ones. Uh, if you uh, let me just go ahead and click OK just to show you how that works. So you have a different set of brushes. Don't worry, you haven't lost the, the other brushes. You can just go back in here and load up the basic brushes, and uh, you know, and go back and forth. So, or what I like to do is just go in here with a, th a thick and just do an append. So we have all of those, and we have a nice flexibility here. Right. So now what I want to do is pick some of these uh, some of these heavy brushes here, and you can experiment with uh, some of them, and you can see if you increase the size of them, you can start to see what it is that they do, and you can play around and see the effect that it causes. So you can play around with that one, or with this one. This one's a little bit more uh, spray painty on the edges here than this one here. This one just has more of a streaks, right? And so you can play with them and see which one it is that you like the most. This one's more almost like a, like a hairbrush or something like that. So what I'm going to do is just use the second one here, and it's up to you which one you want to use. And what we're going to do is, with the large enough brush, we're just going to be painting around like so to bring our image into focus like that. Now what you can also do is if you get to the edge here like so, what you can do is just change into white and then delete some parts of it and customize it like that. And you can also make your brush a little bit smaller and then get the edges a little bit finer if you like. And you get some of this, with a big brush you'll get some of this larger dots around here so you can play around with it and see uh, what what is it you like to do with your image. So just play around with it, um, have some fun with it, and um, get get to a, a part that you uh, you like the look of the image. So let's say that this is, is what I like uh, about this image here. It looks really nice. And now what I need to do is just add a new layer on top of everything else. And what I'm going to do is just fill that layer with white so I can apply the effect. So I'm going to go in here, actually I'm going to go ahead and just automatically just change our mode here to multiply because that's effectively what we want to do and we want to be able to see our image here but I'm going to be adding this essentially just the texture over top and that's why we already multiply we don't want the white to show through we just want the texture so now we're going to go into filter and go to texture and texturizer right there and uh, this will lay out our uh, effect so now what we can do here is just go on to canvas here on texture select canvas Select the scaling uh, that you find appropriate. Of course, this will kind of depend on the size of your image. If you're looking at it at 100%, then you're starting to see the threads of the, of the canvas itself. So just select a size that you think is appropriate. I'm going to go here with like an 85%. And you can also change the light here. So you can change the light source to go from the top, for example. So it almost seems like the... The, the, the canvas effect is only um, going sideways, so the, 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 the shadow is only going vertically. 
or you can do the top right and you can do the top left and you can play around with the uh, with the different settings and see you can see that depending on the ones that you choose you have different canvas effects I'm gonna go with top right that's fine and you can mess around with the relief to see how much obvious uh, you know how much of the relief you want so I'm gonna keep a relief at 4 right now and uh, click OK so now you can see that you have your effect there and if you're not satisfied with this effect if you think it's a you know it's it's not uh, if it's too severe or if it's too it's too big of the size, then you can just undo and do, and do that again. But if you think it's coming through a little bit too much, what you can do without undoing anything is just change the opacity to something slightly uh, less opaque and becomes a little bit subtler, like so. So there we are. So we have our effect. And now I'm just going to show you why it is that I call this to be sort of like a template. Well, the reason for this is that if we turn off our background layer here. I'm not too sure if you can actually tell what's going on here, but we have the the area of the white that's transparent, so it's something would show through, and we have our canvas that's going through across the whole thing. So now what we can do is just grab another image. So I'm going to go in here with another image that I had open. I'm going to copy that image, Control and A, and then Control and C, and now I'm going to go back into our original image here and paste that image in there. Now I'm just going to drag it below all my effects here. And as you can see, I've essentially created a template where I can just drag and drop any image and it fits in with the style, right? So now I can go between this image and that image and any other image I want now that I have these two layers here. I essentially have my canvas layer right there and I have my sort of like the painted effects on layer. Essentially, that's the one right there. That's the one that's doing all the heavy lifting. So because of these two layers, we can transform an image from that to that. If you enjoyed this video, show your support by subscribing, rating, and adding it to favorites. Leave comments on our website and we'll create even more videos that interest you.